this is a really bad idea. I'm going into space, Daddy, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Fire. I will suggest that we do some claps like this. Me and Tino going to synchronize. Operator, want to send my own through? I got to get transmission from my friend Tino. Crap. Thank you for having me on the show today. Oh, no problem, Craftsman. Thank you for joining me. It's uh, it's always. It's always, always a pleasure, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump right in on this one, man, if you don't mind. That's what they say on YouTube. Let's unpack this. How do you go about making a YouTube video? Mm-hmm. I- I'm asking for a friend. All right. Let me tell you like this. It's interesting. Uh, I mean, it's not, but uh, <laughs> so sometimes I will have people reach out to me and ask that very same question but sometimes they will tell me what they already know and it's interesting to to see the way people perceive the way I make feel and what I mean is they will say I know you record the voiceover separately but how do you do how do you handle getting your shots and getting your variety and so I say well actually hold on let's just back up a little bit there's only been about three YouTube videos that I have done, maybe five, I don't know, I've made a couple hundred by now videos, but that I, there's only been a handful that I have done a voiceover in, and you can tell the difference in quality. So the Glios, for anyone interested, if you look up my Glios Tars video, that was completely voiceovers. That means I got up in my sound booth, I wrote my ideas out on a piece of paper, and I just said it. Then I went and filmed the shots to go along with it. That mm-hmm. resulted in one of, in my opinion, my probably better looking videos, better feeling videos, and it was one of my mm-hmm. least stressful at the same time. So, oh, interesting. but what I normally do I come out here, it's a new week, I gotta do a new video, and so I got my topic. So today we're going to talk about uh, uh, polyethylene and polypropylene and how that you can paint them and make it stick to it because they're notoriously difficult. So I will just do my intro. So Craftman get in front of the camera, hello, thank you, welcome, and, and, and do the thing and do a, a let's see, my name is Host Craftman. Uh, you know, I do I do some awkward little thing at the beginning, and then I cut to and today, at all, we're going to talk about how that you can X Y Z, and I will know that okay over that I'm going to put a teaser for whatever I wind up doing at the end of this my final product. I'm probably going mm-hmm. to put that right there, and then I just go straight forward with it. So I say, well, uh, now I got two cameras, so uh, which has helped me a lot. So I usually, maybe sometimes I get my little notebook out. I say, I need to be doing something while I'm talking. But the point is, nine times out of 10, I'm just talking right there on camera as I'm doing whatever it is I'm doing. And so the problem with that is I'm doing it from no script whatsoever. So when I go into uh, my editing, where, you know, I might have hours worth of nonsense and I got to wade through it. And so what right. I started doing, which is a little bit crazy, is if I know that I'm not going to use all that previous stuff, it took me nine tries to get it, I hit me a, a clap sound. Or maybe I just do a clap, clap. And then I go ahead and say it because I feel like I'm going to be on the money with it. Then when I'm looking at that long file in the editor, I know I can just scoot right on over here where I see them two spiky spikes and cut out all that yeah. previous nonsense and get right to the business of it. And then I say, well... That's called a circle dick. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, when you, if you, uh, uh, what, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Tinu has a script supervisor, and so I don't have that luxury. So if he gets a good take, he'll say, circle that one, you know, and then, uh, and then me, I, didn't, I ain't got nobody to do that. I don't even check the gate uh, most of the time. I just go ahead and be rolling. 
but so <laughs> that's right you're gonna you're gonna get that flicker in here and there I know. And gonna I'm regret, going to regret, gonna regret it. it I'm going to regret it yeah. but so then I think okay I've been on this shot long enough let me go to let's 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 uh let's do it so if you if you mess up the audio you go back and retake the video also and do it all again uh well right but this this is one of the neat things about it is a lot of times on the audio it is capturing on my main overhead camera i call it and what i know is a lot of times i'm going to be using an insert or a b-roll shot so so Mm -hmm. regardless of what i'm doing i just will go ahead and record in a way uh and just say well uh let me just get a separate shot of me maybe sliding some plastic pellets into the front of the camera and then i know Mm -hmm. for here where i'm talking about how spray paint is notoriously difficult to stick on these thermoplastic i know in my mind i'm going to get a shot of me demonstrating how the paint scraping off of it or something Mm -hmm. so a lot of times i'm really just recording my audio onto the veto footage and so do you do what i'm saying and i know that i can have the flexibility to put whatever veto i want on top of what i'm saying and so i just forge ahead like that really and what has helped me tremendously to know and i would say this to anybody editing is uh I do try to quote unquote shoot, uh, let's see, shoot for the edit. And that means mm-hmm. I've kind of got it sort of in mind what I want this 10 to 15 minute video to be. And so I'm thinking about the end result. But but for me, it's just because of nature of me not being the most effective uh, wordsmith communicator. And uh, because I haven't written it down even something as simple as uh, a line like, as you know, plastics is uh, difficult. Let me do that again. As you, uh, let's see, as you might know, thermoplasters mm-hmm. do not receive uh, paint or glue. And, I, and it takes me maybe 10 times to say that just the way I would yes. like it. Yes, yes. That's yes. where I get all my footage from. I mean, I mean, my accumulation. So, but if you don't mind, can you back up even like further? So before, like before you even start the video, like you, I know you have a list, right? Mm-hmm. And then, and then, so how do you go about picking it? All and right. And what, what's the next step? So, all right. So let me. So let's see here. Let me go ahead and just right now. Let me go ahead and, in fact, while I got you on the line, let me pull up my. Vero ideas dot text us man i gotta say too like i'm i'm excited to uh to, to you mentioned yesterday that you're gonna be doing one on foley and i gotta i gotta admit it's one that's like on my list all right and uh you know and that's that's fine uh we both do things in a in a very different way but uh i'm i'm excited to check oh, that one out I'm so that that makes me both happy uh, and nervous because you and really really I think what's great is about you doing it is you bring an industry sort of background to it I bring sort of a just a poor man's li- uh, uh, just a backwoods kind of approach to it and so I, I well, think it's well, going to I- be great to see both uh, what what kind of how much overlap is in there yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it just really quickly is like it's um, like I just come from a DIY background and the, the whole the whole filmmaking thing, it found me like mm-hmm. it wasn't like I went to a school and then I uh, started doing this and learned all these techniques and then, you know, d- then went off and did movies and stuff. It wasn't like that at all. I was just I started doing my thing and fell in love with making videos and um I don't know I guess people started to see uh, things and then the th- offers started coming in not wow. from movies right away just doing little videos for people and then yeah, it's it neat, just grew from it's there. neat to hear that because I really I just knew that you uh, were in, in, in that world I didn't really I, I don't think I really knew to hear uh, how you got started with it so that's pretty uh, neat just yeah, to me yeah. personally to hear that you know yeah it was all just it was just playing around with stuff and falling in love with like how you could the very first things i ever 
did was little things with action figures so it's like I've come full circle really to where that's kind of what I'm doing now but you know with a different like slant it. to it but it was all my little Star Trek figures uh, oh <laughs> mercy we we both uh, live in the dream in my opinion I know you you could yes I'm just passionate about this I know that you're passionate about this you were using all of your various talents combined into one uh, funneled into one sort of alley and I know oh, it's so much more fun than than it's so much less pressure than yes, uh, yeah. doing movies that's right Boy. that's right and you're not having to you're not having to uh, program or break here uh, you're not having to worry about what you say here that does not conflict with this advertiser over here you're not you just you just being Tino doing your thing you know and yeah yeah so. and uh, I never did I never did do television I only did movies right. but uh yeah and, and you know and I did educational videos that's that's one thing that like was my first like leg up where that you know I entered that realm and did educational videos and it was funny because my educational videos was really weird and uh, there was this old man at the I say old he was you know what 60s and uh but they hired me to make a video and they were like yeah you know here's the topic do whatever you want so i wrote it and i shot it and i did it with puppets and um yeah and when when he saw this thing he was like whoa wait a second what is wow. this he was it was not uh it was not a good reaction and i was oh, like I was, oh man let's i was thinking I was you like, recognized the talent you know and realize oh no oh no he was like this is some really weird stuff man what are you doing and uh, i was like let's um can we can we get a local school that we can go to and watch it and we went and you know there was a school that let us go and you know put the kids and they watched it in class and he looked at me after he's like i don't get it but they love it that tinu that's the like, slickest that's like a scene from a movie right there baby that's <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh, oh man! I wish I could think like that to do things. They were weird. The next time, the <laughs> next time somebody doesn't like something that I have done uh, for them, or so I'm gonna say, let's go to the school and let's just go see what they think about it, and then just gonna be like boom shakalaka. Yeah, I'll sit in the class and I'll be like one of those plants that they put when they're recording a sitcom who laughs at everything at the right that's moment to make everybody about. else laugh. I like you. <laughs> anyway, tell me about your list. So, so all I do, this is my this is craft man's secret. I pull up video ideas dot text, and I don't have a series, so I just have to click on it myself and find it. But so I, I <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. Let me just give you a little sample. So a lot of these have a parentheses with a done in front of them, and that's always a good feeling. By the way, ladies and gentlemen to uh it's satisfactory to have a list that you can check something off of it mm -hmm. so that's a big part of why i do a list but also it gives me a history and also i make notes on if it's something that was recommended or requested because i, I put somebody's uh a name right here by you so that that way i can mention them if they do not want me to mention them then I can still just send them a care package or something, get with them, and sometimes they don't even want that. They just wanted the video, and that's fine, you know. But So I'm, I'm looking at I'm going to go from bottom to top. I've got, so let's see, we got, well, I need to build a silicone stop-motion puppet with a metal armature. I'm going to show both ball and socket and wire armatures. Okay, that's on my list. I got Arduino, which is electronics. Uh, I got this thing. I want to make a, a sound, a music, a song just using nature sounds that's on my list i got a uh, let's see very cool a lego mandalorian stop motion story that i've scripted but i need to animate and i've got a children's story called kent from down the road i need illustrations list i got scratch building with polystyrene i got to build an amc gremlin from scratch i'm just scrolling up here i got a stick for a uh, figure that i need to make a mode of and make a copy that will not crack on you with specialty resin. Now that is in progress nice. because it's a collaboration with a gentleman named Robert Talone. And Mr. Robert. Oh, I know this guy. That guy is amazing. I just saw him and I just commented on his last video because he's going from like 10,000. I've been watching him since he's like at 10,000 and he's like at 30. Man. Now. He's a sweet knowledgeable Oh fella. man, he is delightful. And look, that is, uh, I tell him 
that he is just the man when it comes to silicon molds and resin and, and just Dude, he specializes and you can see the equipment in his shop he ain't just this he, he ain't just you know hobby level he he this is what he actually does it's like bread bread oh, he butter. built those pressure oh, chains yeah. you can tell and they look scary at first the way they was orientated <laughs> like they're going to blow your lunch off the table it might as well take your arm with you but <laughs> I got to looking at it, I said, that's actually probably safer than what I'm using, to be honest. Just the way that's Yeah, the, well, it's impossible for that, it, it, that lid that's to right. come it ain't going to That's right. It ain't going to pop off. So I said, that's actually pretty intelligent. So uh, just to go ahead and spill the beans on that, he's got, uh, I sent him something to be molded, a stick for a figure still on the tree uh, with the sprue, everything connected. And he's going to let me know if he can mold it and we're going to do a collaboration because I honestly the real reason is just like with you uh, this is a man that's out here I really want more people to know about him and I don't want to just casually mention him so right. so I want to to uh, to really work with him and show people what he can do and so yeah most of what I know about molding and casting comes directly from him. Oh, he he he's he's just a uh, uh, just a powerhouse with information. I mean, uh, yeah. And, oh, it's as detailed as you want. And, I, I, the and, and so want. you knew about him before I did. I had somebody on Patreon reach out and say, "Craft man, do you know? Please tell me you know about Robert Talone." And they just said the name. I said. Uh, and I hope it's okay to say his name because that's what his YouTube channel is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's what his yeah. channel yeah. is. So, uh, but but he uh, but I said no, I don't. I, I, hey, tell me about this. And uh, she sent me the channel, and I went to it. I said, goodness gracious, I never knew this man existed, and he is doing just resin and silicone. I said, I, this, I, I got to do something with him, and so. Yeah, he's he's hilarious. I watched his last his last video, and uh, he's he made this really big mold, the biggest one he's made yet, and uh, it reminded me of Gator wrestling. Watching this guy oh, try to like goodness. pull pull this thing out of there, it's uh it's pretty humorous, and he's got a uh, he's not trying to be funny, but he's he's got a way about him that uh, makes me smile. Yeah, and I like how matter of fact he is. He's not really, he just right to the point with it. And he, in just a couple sentences, he will give you something that might would have took you two years to learn, really. I mean, he, he's, telling, he's talking about things that I picked up the hard way that I just learned because I messed up and messed up and messed yes. up. And, and I'm, th yes. I'm thinking, this is wonderful. I would, if I'd have started right here, no telling where I would be. And so... But if we just keep going up the list, I got general construction framing. Uh, somebody requested, and I got. I, I want to do a, your video using bismuth to show the crystal formations, and then I gotta have a. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm working on a, a figure agua. We doing a, a, a mold, mm -hmm. and so. Yeah, I think I saw. So, I think I saw that yesterday, so, right? Right, right. And so as I keep scrolling, I got how to be happy. I got video on painting difficult plastics, which is in the works. What I mean by that is, all right. So uh, let me just keep on going. Plastic recycling is on my list, and I got this video called uh, "Sound is 51 percent." That's my tentative. That means, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to use that name yet. But that's the video that I am filming right now. So that means my videos about plastics and odds and anything, that means I've got the supplies ready to go for the video. And I kind of mm. have it in my mind. I ain't got no script, but I just know I got everything. If I need to grab it from off camera, it's going to be ready for me. And that means I ain't waiting on nothing to come in the mail, nothing come from Amazon's now. Oh, excuse me, I dropped some nothing coming from Amazon's or eBay. It's all ready. So I got a couple of them that's ready to film. But But do do they they like certain ones like speak to you? So, like Right, right. So it, it really is because I might scroll down and just so here's what happens, Tinu. I, I I so like this time I say, Well, I'm you know, if, if I'm getting a late start on it, and what does a late start mean? Well, so like next week if Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday flies by me because I'm doing my other work, responding to messages, you know, we, we doing orders and, you know, doing things and, and just just talking to people is almost 
it's almost as big a part of this as making the videos. I look at it almost like it's intense. Yeah, I look at it uh, not to make it to be not to be make it more important. Well, it is important, but what I'm saying is I look at it like a ministry almost. In other words, uh, yeah, mm. some of the messages that I get. Um, yeah, some of them you have to just, respond I, I, to because they're they're so personal. I can't. I'm just starting to tear up right now just thinking about. I mean, some of these people will reach out to you. It, it just, mm. Yeah, it's it's and it, it's, it, just, it's okay. It, it I'll, just, I'll, I'll tighten. Mm. I'll tighten this part up, my friend. No, I don't. It, it's all right. Up. I mean, I don't mind it. Just it's just it just really. I just can't believe how just people are so wonderful and 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 yeah. people there's some people out there hurt people are hurting and and they you know reaching out to somebody like me for you know a direction and I don't know uh, yeah it's it's part of why I wanted um, to do this podcraft in the first place is because I knew we would touch on you know subjects that uh, are outside of crafting yeah. and I think that it's important because the thing that led me I mean I do I started doing crafting as therapy and therapy it, it's just something that I do to to get my mind in a happier place and it's it's similar to the right. happiness is a skill video that I did where it's like well let's make a little reminder to be happy and um right. and I you know like I have this little thing and uh and it, it makes me smile every time you sent me something and I never said this um on air when I did the video but and and I'll cut it out if, if you don't oh, no. uh, want me to say it but the um but you sent me something and um craftson made a little thing that he sent me one right. of his little figures and I have that and that sits in my bathroom like by my toothbrush so I see it like at least uh, three times a day but uh, it makes me happy every time I see that that little <laughs> rock like figure it's just a beautiful little thing oh, but I think a lot of people do the crafting as therapy right. for themselves uh, and uh, yeah and I, I, I you know. appreciate uh, hearing that and I'm going to I, I told I told Craftsman how much you like that I'm going to tell him uh, what oh, that's so where cool. you keep what, what you said about the about where you keep yeah, that's, yeah, just, yeah. that's just priceless to me and, and but yeah people do open up and are in a really um, intense way and and that's what makes me happy about what we do in here and I know right. some people aren't aren't gonna like it because it's not about crafting or maybe it doesn't fit in with their worldview or their belief system right. and uh, and that's okay too and that's one of the reasons why um, this is a separate channel right right because it's it's not on your channel it's not on my main channel it's a separate thing altogether so people if they're not into into this they can listen and we, we will talk about crafting and we do talk about crafting but we we also touch upon life right that's right well it is it, it, it's, it's uh, I, t I talked about making a second channel before because I was afraid of that very thing if I start putting up too much crazy uh, I, I say crazy loosely I don't mean what I mean just it ain't crafting it's something from left field then I just feel mm -hmm. like, well, people are going to start to leave the channel and and and, and vote it down and just what you doing now, Craig? I thought you used to, I thought it was called steady craft and and so, but you know, uh, it, this this happiness, how to be happy video, for example, I have it right here in my craft my video ideas list because it just sounds simple. But if you if you're not happy, you're not going to be crafting. And if you and I believe that, like you said, crafting can make you happy. It it is a therapy, and I have yes. been more consistently uh, up, quote unquote, because I have to make these videos, and it is yes. a job now. But I like it. I like the I like interacting with people. I will sometimes get an email, and I will spend just about an hour on one email alone but when somebody reaches out to me and says craft man your 
channel helped me get through the loss of my dad uh, uh something mm-hmm. like that i can't i just it's hard to you know i can't wrap my mind around it to begin with and it's hard to uh i got to reciprocate on that you know i can't uh just tell them thank you have a have a good one you know i'm going to sure first of all i gotta sit there and get my self collected and process it and, and just <laughs> let them know how much that means to me and and my wife has the same reaction to this and, but yeah brother it's it, you you touch people you move people i i mean i haven't you know i, I told you some of this but like when I dis- I discovered your channel, when I was at my deepest, darkest, mm. worst place area, ever. I mean, and um, it, it, I was I was in a bad bad place, and uh, your videos was the only thing that was really the okay. little light in my head, and and then I went into uh, this dark night of the soul as we've talked about right. personally between us before. Right. And uh, I literally heard your voice, and it helped me. And then I was inspired to make my channel. And it's like people can take that for what they want and do with it what they want. But if, if, that is the truth about if, it. If I, if, if, if I don't make another crafting video ever, just that right there, what you just said, is, uh, it, that's more than enough. You know, that just for, there's no amount of money no amount of i just cannot tell you what that means to somebody to crass man now if you and i I appreciate that but now if you don't make another crafting video everyone's gonna blame me actually i've been thinking about this for a long for a couple minutes and i think i'm actually (laughs) i think i'm supposed to retire ladies and gentlemen He's, uh, he's just joking, everyone. Uh, please, oh God, no, don't no, do this no, to me. I'm not going to. But, but really, <laughs> I just, uh, I, re- I wrestle with words is a lot of the problem uh, uh, with with me with di- with just the time expenditure. Is I want to say the right thing because it means yeah. a lot to me. And sometimes the thing I'm feeling in my heart, I don't feel like there's a word for it. And that's why I'm fascinated by other languages is is mm. sometimes there's a language uh you know we have a, a filipino friend and and when she's when she's talking on the phone it sounds like uh a comedian said it best than better than me it sounds like uh like you kicked the push to push the chicken down a flight of stairs that's what the, it <laughs> but she's talking so quickly and so and I mm-hmm. shared one of them words on here before, which means it makes yeah. me nervous. But she told me these other terms, and it has such a specific meaning. So, like, we might say, we might say we, uh, you know, we might have a word like, like we miss something, but they, they have a specific word for, like, an intense longing to be at your place where you live. Well, I guess we have the word homesick. Never mind. But, well, it's you know. like je ne sais quoi, or how the Eskimos have supposedly 50 words for snow. Right, right, right. Right? Je ne sais quoi, or uh, not, not je, ne, je ne sais quoi is about right, but yeah. uh, also. Uh, that's what. Oh, we. That's what, that's what you have. What's that word? Oh, we. Oh, we. Which is. Oh, we. It's a French word. It just means like you, you have a, a, a longing for something, or you're just like sort of in a morose state of mind over mm. just the general state of the world. It's, I uh, I'd have to look up the specific de- definition, but it doesn't really translate specifically over into English. I don't That's believe. what I like. See, it doesn't translate. It's not like a one-to-one uh, conversion chart for that. It's yeah. just... Uh, yeah, that's why book translation is an art form. Mm, mm. There's a lot of... Because yeah. you have to interpret what they're saying. Right, and this context gets involved. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway... I, I'm going to start thing. responding to my emails in French, by the way, so... I just think it's going to be better. Certainly, uh, your your time for writing emails will go from one hour to six. <laughs> right, that's right. So, so all right. So let's say so. I've got my video ideas and I'm looking at it. And let's say I've already started filming this video. The only reason it's not uh, uh, finished yet is because we got uh, yesterday 
uh, we got some thunderous thunder and it's a video about recording sound so I said well <laughs> what a, what a time to be I said well I'm just going to let it let it, the thunder roll and I took care of some other things I needed to do this behind the scenes but that's going to play into Steadicraft and such as figure release which I get an email just about every day or Instagram message just about every day about a figure uh, I feel mm -hmm. so bad that people just now uh, find the channel and say that they're interested in a free range chicken or agua or mess uh, snail yeah. and, and you know we might only made a couple hundred of them and that's what's done you know but uh, they just now discover and I feel so bad I said baby I want to do mold and pins and stickers I want to get back to making toys again and so if I'm looking at this list and it's a Thursday right now I know I can't do the how to be happy video because I got a lot of ground to cover I know that mm -hmm. I can probably pull off the uh, the plastic video uh, where I want to show and that's just changed my world because it's just there's plastics that's difficult to paint on and 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 so that would be one I could pull off though because the tip the trick is relatively simple is it can be dangerous although it's not really dangerous but I could maybe do that but I can't do you know the bismuth uh, crystal formations video because I need to give me some more bismuth Mm -hmm. And you know that that's how I basically do it. What what is so I say? Look at my list. I say where are we at? Is it a Monday? Dang, I might I, I might you know look at here. I might could oh dang craft man. You might could do your difficult video that you've been this been on here for about you know five weeks. If you're starting it on a Monday, but a lot of times to be honest, I start looking at this list by Thursday, uh, like like today. And then I say well let me just get one here easy. Let me scroll down here. Well, I can't do my tampography video. I got the stuff for it, but silicone mold. Wow, you're gonna do some tampo. Huh? Right, right, nice. right. I want to. I want to show people that you can do these things that they do in factories. You can do them yourself. Right. But yeah, tampo is a little stamp, ladies and that's gentlemen. That's right. That you. That's a lot of action figures, like their faces or certain details. It's just a little. It's similar to screen printing, except mm -hmm. the. the the, it's not the same. You're not sliding uh, ink right. through a screen. It's just on a stamp that presses down. Right, right. It presses down vertically in a very precision way. And so Craftsman got this jerry rig way of doing it with a drill press. But uh, <laughs> anyway, but it's pad printing, a.k.a. tampography. Now, I can maybe do that, but here's the situation. You know T. Knew how silicone is. It, it, don't, it don't just cure in a couple minutes. So... Mm -hmm. Any of my molding and resin videos, you know, I go ahead, I might as well say, well, that you, you just add two days to, two or three days to that video just by nature of having to wait on silicone and then wait on resin, whatever. So that's the kind of factors that play into it, uh, me choosing the Got video. It. So stay. Yeah, it's, fas it's fascinating to hear that you like, you can you have certain days like you you kind of have a concept of like how many days it'll take you i haven't um i don't have enough experience with this format yet to, uh, well some of, well to, i haven't arrived i there. wish i wish i would it, it it makes me sound like i gotta figure i really don't have i just sort of still sh just guessing uh uh because really there's only I mean, you would be the same way. You you know how long silicone and, and resin takes. But like when I'm mm -hmm. looking at here right now, okay, I want to make a water foam, uh, which is a very w nice, wonderful yes. instrument that you can get. It's scary. Yeah, it's not it? really a musical instrument, right? Exactly. But you can get some real ethereal, real interesting sounds from it. But mm -hmm. but now that one, how long is that going to take me to make? I don't know. I mean, so I would just guess that if I'm going to do the water phone video, I better start as early as I can. I better hit it on a Monday and then try to let's see if we could build this thing by. Uh, yeah, I used to, I was trying to get things done by Friday and then take a Saturday off, upload a bit on Sunday. But just just honestly, it's been more like getting started so on the would... third. I, I've been working seven days a week for a while now. And I don't like to work on, uh, I like to have some time off with my family, but yeah. we live in a blessed situation where I'm with my family every day anyway. And yes. not everybody has that situation. So, 
you know, uh, a lot of my, you know, different friends, different ones, they work offshore, they do different jobs, and they're they gone a lot. And I'm here, I'm here with them, and, you know. Uh, I mean, if I ain't at the house, I'm out here in the woods in my shop, you know, and, right. but it ain't. I mean, it's still within walking distance, and uh, we, you know, so. See, for me, I'm I'm the kid in my family. What? You know, so it's a uh, that uh that helps. It's a uh, every everyone else in my family is a is a grown up. Oh, I, oh, that's right, right. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, my wife would tell you that she uh, has uh, four kids. Not three. It does. I know. I, I feel. I, I'm picking up what you're putting down on that one. Uh, I swear. I swear that every time I talk to you, I learn about another kid. Well, the longest time I only thought it was crap. You know that made me. Now. That made me feel. Uh, it makes me feel bad because I had somebody come in and they said, "How come nobody's talking about craft daughter?" Why? And I said, "Well, I have actually mentioned her when I talked about piano before, uh, synthesizer. I mentioned my daughter because mm. she's she." she uh, had did lessons and ah, I talked about it. Cool. She's going to be getting on to me for not knowing what middle C is on the piano, and she would say, "Dad, you know what?" <laughs> and so, but we have three kids, and I, you know, I, I don't mind sharing that. I what's interesting is I do play a character, but it, but mm-hmm. so far everything I have said, let me think about this now, has been true. Um, but and so I just try to conceal real names real i try sure. not to share my social security number too often in my videos it's an easter egg if you can find it that's actually may not be true though okay. but, but you can clearly see the credit card number in this uh, you know video for 65 i think right which don't do you no good no more because that's been canceled so don't even oh, yeah don't worry about it. dang the one that amazon ain't shipped yet babe remember take that video down with the credit card take that video <laughs> I'm kidding. You know what's funny? A lot of times I talk I talk to my wife and she's not even out here. Uh, that's going to be a, a letdown to some people. Sometimes I'm talking off camera. And sometimes she is here, though. And, and you mm-hmm. will hear her. But sometimes it's just me talking to myself or talking to the AC, just being quietly just sitting there. She's always there in spirit. That's right. That's right. And they meant to that. Yes, she is. And that's why I come. Um, I don't tell all my jokes I want to tell sometimes because I know. She told me not to do the uh, proctology. Uh, I don't know where that came <laughs> from, but I just said, baby, I'm going to put it at the end of the video, okay? And it's going to be like a bloop. What are we going to just? It'll be okay. It's going to be too late by then. They can't, they've can't. they already seen the video. She, she she said, your Patreon going to go down. You realize. I said, yes, well, <laughs> it, I don't know. Let's just see. Let's have some more faith in the people. Yes, the, uh, if 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 people only knew how much I, I edit out of my my daddy. Oh my goodness! And the things he says. You know what? It's, uh, you know what I would like. Most of it ends up on the cutting room floor. I'm going to go on behalf of everyone listening to this right now, T. New, and say that we all would like a video just of our castle of data. Just ju- uh, did I say our ca- uh, outtakes of data? Just outtakes of him. I'm gonna have to make a third channel. Putting the well, well, oh, I, well, it ain't that bad, is it, Tino? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. He has, he has a, a bit of a bit of reason, at least when it comes to like uh, offending people. Usually, he knows exactly which button to press. Oh, that's but, right. But uh, he 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 keeps it uh, well reined. I gotta admit uh, on these videos, which is uh, nice. But if you want to hear. Uh, what would be considered an outtake? Go and listen to episode two on a uh, Pycraft thirteen of uh, this, and uh, you'll get a little more about like how my daddy is capable of putting himself in the most <laughs> compromised, embarrassing situations on earth. How he attracts it like uh, you know, like bees to honey. I like, but I like it so much though. It uh, <laughs> like I told you uh, off camera. Uh, off uh, microphone is he reminds me so much of uh, my wife's family, and uh, you do you do yeah. too. And uh, but but yeah, it's yeah, it's a it's an interesting it's an interesting place to 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 be, man. It's uh it's it's unique, and uh, a lot of the people out here they're uh, hardcore. 
is the word I, I could use for it. And um, believe it or not, my my daddy's accent uh, and my accent, uh, I have less than him. But uh, you should hear some of the people out here, man. It's It, it can be intense. Oh, no. It almost sounds like they're speaking another, another I was going to say it, another language, in, which is interesting because people comment about, I'm sure you probably get less comments than me. Mine's just not being good with yes. grandma, but uh, I, I get people from <laughs> Scotland or somewhere saying, you know, I'm, I'm not a native speaker. I really appreciate the information. I just could only understand about half of it. But now I'm thinking, baby, if we let one of y'all uh, uncles come on here and try to do this, it would be just wonderful to read the comments because I can't even oh, understand yeah. what they're saying. <laughs> and just let, let but, alone somebody from uh, the United Kingdom trying to ascertain what they, you know, telling them. Well, it's so interesting because like with uh, with my accent, um, I had to I had to try really, really hard to to lose my accent because uh, like, you know, like I've mentioned before, I, I went off and I worked, I, I worked and, you know, I worked on films um, and you can't go, you can't get a job working on films with uh, an intense Cajun accent saying like, hey, Mr. Director, I'm gonna make your film real pretty, you just watch. Right, right. That's just not gonna fly. So uh, so I had like pulled it back like as uh -huh. much as I was able to, and then they still noticed, but it was right. it was not as intense. But my, my wife, who, uh, Molly, uh, is from Canada. By the way, uh, can I just interject? By the way, did y'all know uh, that Timu's wife, uh, she paints? Did y'all know that? What? She she's uh she's from Canada, and if you know a little bit about the the history of it, like um, she's Acadian, and that's where the word Cajun actually comes mm -hmm. from. And the Cajuns were kicked out of Canada, and they came down to basically New Orleans. And uh, they were also looked down upon by the people in New Orleans. And this is, this was a long time ago. And uh, so they had to. They were kind of basically chased out into the swamps and the mosquitoes, and uh, where no one else wanted to live. And then they carved out a life for themselves there. And uh, yes. anyway, yeah. so we. We have a shared heritage, but to her, she was the first person that let me start feeling good about the way I speak. Where really? she, what I heard as, um, I'll be frankly honest, you know, what I heard as uneducated, she heard as exotic. That's and uh, that was new to me. I had never even conceived of that. And now that I'm getting. Um, you know, like people are seeing stuff and you know from different parts of the globe they I've gotten some similar comments from time to time and uh, to me that that is interesting that um, it is. Yeah, people just see it in a different way and They don't have all my baggage Attached to it when they hear right. it. So it's nice. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting that uh, the perceptions and and with somebody that may not be acquainted with the geographical, with the history, maybe, uh, like you said, to perceive it as uh, exotic, you know, like to mm -hmm. to me, I could listen to uh, someone with uh, uh, Scott uh, the Scots accent, Scottish accent, just all day long. It's just wonderful, pleasant to me. In fact, that reminds me, there's somebody I'm I'm getting ready to hopefully uh, also on my video list is. Uh, five channels that I want you to know about and I'm going to cover some people that's just out there scraping and I really want them to be more well known some kick some nice. kick bashing people some that, that's going to be uh you're going to pretty much know most of them I believe but uh Andy yeah yep that's right that's it <laughs> Andy Mecca. and so I you know he's a, he's on my list and uh I just said nice. man I got to I ain't said nothing to him about it. I just want to uh, I said man he's so, such a it's just a nice person love just the way he speaks and and he just mm -hmm. so pleasant so pleasant mm -hmm. and I want people to mm -hmm. see what he's building and uh, and Bill making stuff and he me and him get along real good he's he's a uh, Bill is a he wants you to believe he's a grumpy pants and, and, and hates what he's doing, but he's a teddy bear. He's got a character. He's a, he's yeah, a teddy he's, bear. He's oh, it. yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a, I'm doing a podcast with him tomorrow. Oh, that is going to I'm be gonna, wonderful. I'm going 
I'm gonna have him on. Uh, you know, when I first talked to him, I was like, because we were only conversing over, uh, you know, messages. Uh -huh. I was expecting, you know, to be roughhoused a little bit, and I was like, maybe my daddy should do the podcast right. with you. And he's like, oh no, dude, it's 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 a it's a different thing. And then once I finally actually talked to him uh, over the phone. Uh, uh -huh. It was a, a whole different experience, so it'll be fun I would, and interesting. I would tell you, he is a nice man. Uh, he yeah. does play. He does play a little bit gruff, but uh, I, I reached out to him out of the blue, and I, I didn't think he would be able to do it. I, I got him to. Uh, I said, "Hey, I'm going to mention you in a video. Doing, a, I'm doing a kit bashing, and you inspired me to do this. And I, I'll just. It would just be wonderful if you could just." say something just 10 seconds five just a little bit of something and i know it's, it's last minute and man he turned around and immediately sent me this long he gave me multiple takes he gave me just wonderful possibilities made it difficult to me to pick the best the best one at, at the beginning said some of the most encouraging things and i have it's a cherished uh video in my collection now that's a that's a uncle bill the uh, bill making stuff and he uh, yeah he's he's very cool and actually one of the things that uh we have discussed like uh amongst ourselves not you and i bill and i is uh that maybe at some point you know uh we could all do a collaboration together you and myself be, and uh and him that would be and, fantastic uh, yeah, I'm still trapping, trying. <laughs> I'm still trying to talk, is what I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm still trying to wrap my head around how to go about with a collaboration, you know? Because I want it to be like, I don't know. I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around. Well, uh, the one thing I, I've still got my list open, and if I scroll a little bit wrong here, I have got a, a quote unquote bead, but. And so I've actually got three different things on here that's involved in build making stuff. And so he has, as far as I know, he's the one who came up with the concept of the bead by B E A D, mm. uh, where you just take little beads and things and wire and make a, a wire, wire, vice, vice, drill. Or you in a station ever object that you can't wrap some wire around? <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot say the word wire without your song coming into my head it's wonderful oh, that's that's hilarious. i really i'm so glad you did that wow that's very nice wow. i'm sorry that's anyway y'all song y'all y'all uh y'all vocal tones y'all dulcet tones has got me distracted uh <laughs> so i thought i would do a beat by but i wanted to uh i don't know do a different spin on it maybe make a smaller one see if he could make one even smaller than that who can make the tiniest bead but you know Maybe Man, I've seen the size of the ones he's making. You guys, like, I can't even my, get my hands in oh, anything yeah, small, yeah, yeah, that yeah. small. It's crazy how small y'all, not y'all, but that some of the bee bots. Yeah, he doing, does on 28 millimeter scale, and it is. It yeah. The thumbnail makes That's it look tiny. like it's a, you know, a, a five inch, yes. you know, sculpture, but then he's sitting there holding exactly. it. It's like mercy. My eyes are not that good. Well, maybe we'll do something different than a bead bot, you know. Uh, yeah, we we can figure out something cool like the. Uh, I got, I got maybe a couple of ideas, but uh, but yeah, it would be it would be nice, and I would love to. I also, <clears throat> you know, wanted to. We had talked about totally, you know, maybe doing a um, a little collaboration together, you oh, and yeah. I, and I would I'd love to do that at some day, someday. But I we, I want to find the right thing, and like I am a believer in like well listening for things and like I kind of know if I'm trying to listen like when the right thing happens or when the right subject matter comes up or when the right time is and I think everybody has that inside of them that little uh, my north star as I call right. it when I feel right about something so uh so I'm still sitting on that one just just consider me like Ronald McDonald I'll be I will be down to clown you know <laughs> <laughs> whenever the uh, whenever you hear what you need to, and and just let me know. I am know. afraid of clowns. Oh, not Ronald though. They did him right. I think he's the least uh, scare of clown, I believe. But you know what? <laughs> and perhaps the most destructive at the same oh, time. Oh my goodness! Well, <laughs> we can. Well, that's another. Speaking of things that should be out loud, yeah, fast food just about did me in back in my day. But but you know, let me tell you what though. I said about it. 
it wasn't because I like fast food. It was because it was a 99 cent menu. Ah. And that's the sad part is people, oh, I don't want to get into sad territory. All, on, uh, that's on the all good. But you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. if you can only get the 99 cent menu, which we, I've been there and sometimes couldn't even get there. And, and, and yeah. you buy bad food out of necessity and can't get the good food. And that's what's sad, go yeah. up into a health food store. Uh, you know, like I told somebody, and I'm not trying to put down on the health food industry, but I do believe that, you know, we, me and my wife try to grow our own produce and things, and, and some people just can't, don't maybe have the knowledge, and maybe it wasn't passed down to them, and they go up into or the a, room, yeah. Right, they go up into a, a health food store and, and trying to, to get the right things to get better, and they spent thirty-five dollars, and all they got was a granola bar and a, a, a GMO-free sucker, <laughs> lollipop. <laughs> and so it's like I told somebody: uh, the health food store is the number one way to reduce uh, inflammation in your wallet. You know, <laughs> that's just my take on. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. But but I, but we know we got some friends who runs the health food store, but they don't listen to my. Uh, they don't know of my channel, so we in the clear. It's all good. But I appreciate <laughs> what they're trying to do. I just wish they could make healthy food more uh, affordable. You know. Well, well, think about how crazy it is. Like food is healthy. It comes out the ground right. healthy. Right. It comes out the animal healthy think about how backwards we have to be as a society that it's harder and more expensive to get right. natural food right think right about right that i mean that's crazy that's bizarro world type stuff where where up is down and down you know right let's take the bread let's take the wheat let's take the things out of it to keep it shelf stable but then let's also turn around and reintroduce vitamin d back into it and look Oh, it's like a Frankenstein food. It ain't like you said. Real food is just it just is. It's just natural. It just exists. And but we done. Yeah. We going to take it, spray it, strip it, box it, package it, color it, and uh, sell it for way more than it needs to be. Oh, mercy, craft man, yeah. you getting carried away, craft man. Come right, on. Let's wrap up with uh, how you wrap up your videos. All right. So what I have we really enjoyed doing is. To, is so like uh, tomorrow I will finish hopefully if, uh, you know Lord willing the creek don't rise finish filming my video which is an episode about sound capturing I have filmed the first part of it on starting on say that again about what? about uh, capturing uh, audio uh, Foley F-O-L-E sound capture okay yeah. I'm sorry Sorry, I'm, I'm a little slow sometimes. We talked about my head injuries. Oh, before, that's all right. So, uh, continue, continue. On. Yeah, just the general say quiet. And so, <laughs> it's going to be about getting sound effects and things. And uh, I'm inspired by uh, to to try to make my just have little little bips and pops and teens and dings and zips. And I want to show. I, I want to make these sounds. And I really, to be honest, I'm never going to get around to doing it unless I just make a video about it. And so, you know, that's why my wife told me, I wish she would do a video about doing home repairs, craft mail, so we can get some things done right here. <laughs> and so in a way, <laughs> I filmed it, uh, about half of it. And so in a given day, like if I film today, I take all them files from my SD card, copy it to my computer, and I go ahead and chop up what I got from that day, if I can. Every day? Every day I try to do that because... Oh, but, I envy that well, so much. It's friend. almost oh, like okay. I have to do it so I can sleep at night, to be honest, because if I don't, I'm editing in my bed, and then if I've got three days' worth of footage, well, about three days ago, I can't remember what was the best take, where was the best thing I said, where it was located, so if I go ahead and film today, uh, Tino, take it to my computer. It is just so much better for me to go ahead right now. At least do a rough cut. Just assemble it. it do a, Just do a rough cut. All right, I got it on my timeline. I got the best takes on now. And, and it might be a little bit rough on the sound. My levels ain't right. But then the next day I do same routine. And I go ahead and, and film my closing my closing little monologue thing, whatever I'm going to say, and I never really scripted. Uh, this last time I, I, I said a joke that I might have used before, uh, uh, but uh, you know, so 
uh, and, and in fact, that's that list. Sometimes you just gotta hear him again. That's right. A, a typical day for a craftsman. He he wakes up at uh, what time? Oh, I get up just about when the sun does. You know, I don't. I used to get up real early. I used to get up when it was dark. Uh, I've mm-hmm. gotten to where I just, I just don't like it. I don't know. I, cause, cause. So about six. Yeah. So right, right. Like this morning. Well, this morning I was up a little bit before six, uh, and, mm-hmm. and so. Uh, and today was different because we had to jet on out of out of town for a little bit uh, to uh, go take my uh, my daughter on an appointment, and so and so we did that. But anyway, we so normally I get up and me and my wife do a quiet time. We uh, we read a chapter out the Bible. We we do a, a prayer time. We talk about things, and, and and it's just a good peaceful quiet time together. And we. We take a kids. Kids are still sleeping at this point. That's right. That's right. That's right. And uh, and they all three still at home. Uh, one one of them he getting close to that. Uh, just about you know, he, he about to fly. Right, the nest. right. Just about, just about ready. And so, uh, and 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 so, if you hear me refer about him, Kraft's son, my middle son. Okay, he's mm-hmm. he's uh, he's uh, him and my daughter do the, they into artistic and crafty things, building music, sculpting paint and all that and my oldest he mm-hmm. he does not really into the same thing which that's fine he's got his own mm-hmm. he got a different drummer but me and my wife mm-hmm. will take a coffee uh, mugs and we just go ching and do a toast like that with it and we'll sip on the <laughs> coffee and i get on my uh computer my house computer and she will get on her one and and start working on orders okay if we have any then there may be days where we just don't have any orders Oh, Bill, let's see, Bill making stuff, notification just popped up. Bill trying to sabotage me right now. He's trying to sabotage both of us. You saw it? You heard it? No, I didn't. Bill not. making stuff. Come on, Bill. Uncle Bill. Anyway, you can have the freedom to cut out whatever you need. Tell Bill to, to calm down. He's got to wait till tomorrow. Bill, cal- Bill yeah. calm down, please, baby. Come on now. No, but... uh. <laughs> I picture him just giving me a look, you know. I anyway, know so I get on, I get on my uh, computer and I respond to as many messages as I can. Starting with, uh, I go to Patreon, and usually on average, it's, it's you know, it, it's would be about twelve messages or something like that. Uh, no more than twenty, and, uh, and then I try to get them knocked out, and then I get on my Gmail, and then if I have time, I try to get over into. Uh, Instagram and Facebook territory, and we still check it. Although we don't, we got a. Uh, my wife has a shop now, uh, uh, shop.craftnation.com. That's not me trying to plug it. That's just me saying we don't really have anything on Esty. But we st- that's shop.craftnation at uh, gmail.com. Oh. You like <laughs> right. I, 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 totally, I totally messed it up, didn't I? <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. You know, it just makes it better, you know. But so even okay. even still, we get a lot of messages on yes, if for whatever reason, that's what people go to uh, reach out. And it's, uh, so messages come in from all directions. And then after that, if I have time, I check my fax machine. And if all if I get that done, your pager, then you get all. I, I just mind. finally did retire my pager. I finally did. Oh, it just felt like I was too connected to technology. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so, <laughs> literally, right, right. Yes. And so, and if I have time, I'll come out and maybe stop piddling around working on uh, a video. And I, you know, and I, and this is like what nine at nine o'clock? We're rolling around here. Oh, it, yeah. Usually, usually uh, getting close to lunch. To be on, I will spend a good uh, bit of time. Mm-hmm. I will spend, but we do early lunch. We not we not twelve o'clock lunch people. We more like you know, eleven. You know, easily uh, sometime ten thirty. Uh, so yeah, you know, yeah. you break down the ballpark now. That's it. That's the fishing lunch is what I the, call it. Right, that's uh, right. It's like when you. When you get up and go fishing, and then it was always the best to me because you could you could eat like a sandwich with potato chips and, right. and a coke at like nine o'clock in the morning because oh you would gotten up so early. That's right. Uh, my fishing lunch was potted meat, uh, and Vienna sausages, potted and some meat. some uh, crackers, or pack of nabs. I, you know, I don't know if anybody, if y'all know that. Uh, you ever hear somebody talk about a pack of nabs? No, I don't know this. All right. It just means a pack of crackers. And the reason I think they came up with it, my family always calls it 
they say, I'm going to the store. I'm, uh, you want me to get you a Coke? And then you say, yeah. They say, what kind you want? And they say, I take a root beer. And they say, all right. And they might just say, well, give me a pack of nibs, too. And that just means uh, crackers with, like, you know, the peanut butter crackers or the cheese crackers. Oh, yeah. And so yeah, I believe yeah. it is short for Nabisco. That's my theory. Ah, and they, that, that makes and sense. And just a lot of people are in the cows and nibs. So... We'd always call uh, the soft drinks a pop. See, now that's crazy to me. We just call it uh, either. Now, I, I've, I've become more educated in my years, and I just call it, I no longer call it a Coca-Cola. I just call it a, a you know, a soft drink. That makes me sound yeah, like I'm... That, that's pretty fancy. Yeah, yeah. I'm business oriented. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so, so uh, you do your lunch thing, and well, well, I'm really, I'm really taking you to the mat. Right, huh? I want, I want a blow by blow of Craftsman's day. So, so what uh, I do is, I by the time, so I get my uh, my lunch in me. It's kind of like I almost getting my second win for the day, uh, because I generally wake up pretty good. I'm I'm better of a morning person than I used to be, and I don't know if it has to do with the coffee or not. But anyway. And uh, I take my my some amino acids, you know, my uh, l tyrosine and and my GABA and some of them other things that we can get into one day on that happiness mm-hmm. video. And then so uh, my coffee, clean drink. And then uh, uh, so by the time I get my lunch and all, I'm ready to possibly start filming. If nothing come up, if ain't nothing leaking or busted or cracked or bent broke, and I come out here <laughs> and I will begin to film. And so. Uh, that's going to be, I, I, you know, that takes a while because I got to be honest. Uh, in the summertime, it's uh, it's like Jerry Mungo said, you know, in the summertime. I can't. I don't want to get a copyright. I'm not going to sing it. But uh, um, that's right. They're gonna ding us. And, and I even said the name wrong. It's Mungo Jerry. But uh, that's right. I don't even know who that is. I heard this uh. Recently, in something. Well, I don't well, know who that is. Oh, yeah, well, I would encourage you to look at that song and just prepare yourself for how gorgeous this Speak. man looks. Oh, Mongo yeah. Jerry. He, I bet he has one of those big, beautiful pompadour hair. Dudes it's not quite where well, I'm just going to let you look up Mongo Jerry. Okay. I just would. I'm, I'm going to be surprised. I want you to be surprised and just brace yourself. Be sitting down because it's just going to be all of your <laughs> aspirations from now on is to look like Mungo Jerry. Yeah. That's a it man. makes you weak in the knees. Oh, right? that's best to be sitting. That's right. That's another song right there. But I, I, I got my <laughs> AC going, so I turned it off and I film as long as I can before I have a heat stroke, just about. And then I just <laughs> quit film and turn the AC on and repeat the process and that's it and like i said i take it to the house and i chop it chop it on my computer when you take it to the house to like edit and then do your little post-production for the day this is like uh maybe after dinner time or well just yeah, i try to still get it done before then I'm, I'm not i don't like to work too wow. too late into the day i like to uh i like to i got this situation and i've had it ever since every work I've ever done I like to be just about done with what I'm going to be doing by about five or six o'clock and, and mm-hmm. then it's just if if uh, if uh, you know my daughter wants to play a uh, connect for if uh, my wife wants to uh, you know talk about something or you know somebody you know whatever it is I, I'm just I'm doing that while we got so it's family that's time right at, that's right at, at, in the evening that's that's very sweet. That's that's a beautiful life, man. I, I I well, I feel it. I feel blessed. I don't take it for granted. I I think what helps me to really really appreciate it is that I've been, I've done the regular work things. I punched a clock. I worked in factories. I, I've mm-hmm. done manual labor. I use a post hole digger. I tell somebody that's the only PhD that I have is a, a post hole digger. But <laughs> it's just made me appreciate. Uh, d- being able to do this, just like talking to you right now today, I, I, I value, I value it. Well, I think, uh, I think that's a beautiful uh, note and sentiment to, uh, to kind of end this podcast on. Plus, I'm running uh, low on fuel. But you know what? I really wanted to talk about today, <laughs> Tinu. If you don't mind, do you have an extended warranty on your vehicle? <laughs> Craft Pod Thirteen. I'm going to sign off, and uh, it's been a pleasure, as it always is, Same. and uh, 
You always enlighten me and、uh, you make my world and the world in general a better place. And it's the same with you to me. Just as you said, also. <laughs> Tino, I'm going to learn French. You just got that gentle say quiet. What can I say, Tino? <laughs> But once I throw out one word, boy, you, you really get to use it like five or six more Every times. Every episode, I'm going to latch on to one word. And then look, I don't want you to malacotta me now. I want you to hit me with some big words, all right? <laughs> That's last episode. I know, but see, that's, a, that's going to be a little throwback for,、uh, for the、uh, listeners that's dedicated. Gotcha. They, gotcha. They know. Yeah. Well,、um, well, all right, sir.、Uh, I, got a, I got a warning light here、all、on right, the console,、right. and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take off. All right. Well, be But, safe、uh, out there, Tino. Tell Miss Molly and Daddy that we said hello. Ah,、uh, sure. I sure will. I sure will. I love will. you, boy. Well, it's been a pleasure, sir. Over、right. and out. Bye bye.